Good morning, everyone. As the Lord Lieutenant of Kent, I have the honour of being Her Majesty the Queen's official representative in the county. It gives me great pleasure to take part in Medway's Armed Forces Day to Day. The office of Lord Lieutenant is an ancient one, dating back to Tudor times, when it was primarily military in origin, playing a vital role in the defence of our shores. It was the Lord Lieutenant who would call out the militia and volunteers in times of national crisis, and Kent, with its strategic position on both the English Channel and the River Medway, has always reacted with great enthusiasm. Today, the Lieutenancy is very modern in outlook. The Lieutenancy has the honour of welcoming members of the Royal Family to the County and supported by a large team of Deputy Lieutenants. We promote the County, attend citizenship ceremonies, support and honour the emergency services, volunteers, young people and charities. And of course, the armed forces, both serving men and women, reservists, veterans and cadets. The Lieutenancy continues to maintain a close relationship with the armed forces throughout the various reserve units based in the county. Medway, for centuries, home to generations of seafarers, has bases for reserve units of the Princess of Wales Royal Regiment, the Royal Navy and the Royal Engineers. Many Medway men and women also travel further afield as members of other reserve units. Others are in full-time service around the world. Now more than ever, we should show our support for our incredible armed forces and the great work they do to protect us, including their heroic efforts during the current pandemic. Now, as in the past, Kent and Medway never fail to deliver, and I'm so very proud of Medway's rich connections with the armed forces, and I'd like to thank them for all that they do today. Today, we salute their valued contribution. The people of Medway, Kent and the nation owe them a huge debt of gratitude. I succeeded Viscount Delisle as Lord Lieutenant at the end of April, and it's therefore the first Armed Forces Day that I have attended, albeit in a virtual way. Once the lockdown has been lifted, I look forward to visiting Medway in person and meeting as many of you as I can. Thank you.